Welcome to our demonstration of VMware vSphere Data Protection Advanced Automated Backup Verification. Before creating this backup verification job, we created and ran a backup job for the virtual machine named Linux01. Note that backup verification jobs can only be created for virtual machine backups, and each verification job is limited to one virtual machine per job. However, it is possible to create multiple backup verification jobs. To begin, we select the Restore tab, click Backup Verification, Backup Verification Job Actions, and then click New. Select Linux 01 and click Next. vSphere Data Protection Advanced uses VMware Tools Heartbeats to verify if the guest OS of the virtual machine has booted successfully. Optionally, a verification script can be used for further verification. For example, to verify if an application service has started. Now, we select the destination path by clicking the Choose button, expanding the virtual machine's object, and selecting the host on which Linux 01 will be restored. Click OK. Select a data store for the virtual machine to be restored to. Click Next. The next step is defining a schedule for the backup verification job. In this demo environment, we decide to run the job once per week, every Sunday morning at 2 a.m. Click Next. For the last step, we give the backup verification job a name, click Next, click Finish, and click OK. A backup verification job can also be started manually. To do this, click Verify Now and click OK. vSphere Data Protection Advanced will restore the virtual machine, power it on, and verify if the virtual machine was restored successfully by checking for VMware Tools heartbeats. To see the restored virtual machine, we view the list of virtual machines in the vSphere web client. We can easily locate the virtual machine being restored in the list because it is prefixed with VDP underscore verification. Note that the virtual machine network adapter is automatically disconnected to avoid interference with production workloads. Once the backup verification job is completed, details about the job can be viewed on the Reports tab. First, we quickly locate the Linux 01 VM by filtering the list of virtual machines by name. Select Backup Verification. Deselect Client Details and Backups. Click on Linux 01. We can see that backup verification was a success, along with other details, such as the last time the job ran and the name of the backup verification job. This concludes our demonstration on VMware vSphere Data Protection Advanced Automated Backup Verification. Thank you.